Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I've collected in order for you to improve your editing, to actually take your videos to a whole new level. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started as always right after the intro. going on guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new video this is the official vegas post full walkthrough so we all know that vegas pro 17 released a couple of weeks ago and now vegas post is also out so for the people who don't know what vegas post is is basically a package of multiple programs in combined into one so if you go to the website if you go to the link in the description you will land on this vegas post of the vegas creative software website so if you scroll down this is basically what Vegas Post is. It is a Vegas Pro 17 itself. We have a Vegas Effects, the Ultimate VFX Playground, and we have Vegas Image. We basically want to separate uh, Vegas Pro 17 for now and only focus on Vegas Effects and Vegas Image. So if you want to open up Vegas Effects, you can just find the link in the description, the first link. You can just buy it, try it out, and see what it looks like because this is mainly focused on VFX, like effects, visual effects, not necessarily like video editing because that's what Vegas Pro 17 is for. Okay, so if you're booting up Vegas effects, this is basically what the begin screen looks like. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is, what it's for, how to use it, everything like that. So let's just wait just a couple seconds until Vegas effects is booted. Okay, so as you can see, this is the interface that Vegas effects has. So at the bottom, it says new composite shot or new composite shots from footage. So let's just start from scratch for this one. So I'm gonna click on here and obviously, you can just give this a name, for example, like uh, Project One. You can also pick the template, like what you kind of, you know, resolution do you want, what quality, what FPS. Let's see if we can find 60 FPS, which is this one, 1080p, full HD, 60 FPS. The width and the height is obviously just 10, uh, 1920 by 1080, and the frame rate is 60, very obvious. Let's just click on OK, and this is basically what we will see. Pretty much like Vegas Pro 17, you will have a preview screen, you will have a timeline, but then it comes actually to multiple effects you can apply onto your video. Okay, so now that we have the project uh, booted up, so this is what we will see, the preview, the timeline, and also on the right, you also have the effects that you can apply. So in order to actually apply things onto your video, it's best to fully create your video in Vegas Pro 17 without any effects, export that out and drag it in. That's what we're gonna do right now. So as you can see right now, this is just a stock clip of an Audi R8 I used in a previous video. So basically, this is how it works. You will have have your timeline, obviously, your preview, where you will see what you're doing. But then on the very right, you have all the things you will need. It doesn't matter if it's color grading, uh, if it's uh, animation, if it's behavior, blurs, channel, color correction, color grading, like I've mentioned, uh, depth, distort, generate, geometry, uh, grunge, gradients and fills, keying, lights and flares, particles, quick 3D scenes, scopes, sharpen, everything that you need is in here. So let's just go ahead and, for example, 
click on the animation one. Let's just click on this uh, drop down menu. Right here we have a sensor wipe, we have the down insert, down roll, drop, do mode designs, we have fade, fly in, fly in and out. It is basically all these assets and animations into your program in Vegas effects. That's what it's come down to. So right now let's for example click on fly in and fly out. Let's just drag that onto the clip. If you play it back as you can see it flies into the screen and it will also fly out. And obviously it's a little bit laggy because it's pretty decent software. It's pretty heavy. The, you know the clip I use is also very heavy. This is basically what it looks like. It just flies into the screen. Let's see if I can actually. So it basically comes flying into the screen and I know it looks a little bit laggy guys because that's because it's uh, a 10 80p 60 fps project i'm running my recording screen recording program at 60 fps and as you can see at the end it just flies out of the screen and that's how amazing it looks now it's not only transitions and you know for example animations onto your clip we have way more so let's go ahead and for example click on color grading and i know all these things i'm showing you right now can be done in vegas pro 17 but when you actually want to just go ahead and go in like really go in depth there are also a couple functions that you just make sure you want to do that in vegas effects it is just way more uh logical that you just do that in the uh, VFX program of Magix, obviously. Okay, so let's just go ahead and use a feature that you don't have in Vegas Pro 17 or basically in any other version of Vegas Pro, Sony Vegas, whatever. So right here, I just clicked on lights and flares. If you drag on the light leak onto this clip, as you can see, this is what it looks like. And these things you cannot apply in Vegas Pro 17 or you have to manually go to YouTube, you know, download all these light leaks, mess with the compositing mode in order to, you know, see through it. Vegas, Vegas FX just makes things way easier and also if you want to have light rays if I play it back this is basically what it looks like it is a little bit laggy but you guys know what I'm trying to say light rays everything like that and obviously you can also uh, position your clip which is not possible in Vegas Pro 17 to just click on your preview and drag your footage around and obviously on the left you also see the effects that you have applied onto it obviously so if I click on the light leak you can actually just double click on it and for example really mess with like the settings and where it is positioned onto the screen it's really really cool cool okay so right here it gets interesting right here we have stylized so if you have if, if you drag on the cartoon on this one as you can see it will add it will make this clip look like it's a cartoon kind of vibe clip as you can see like it's drawn so we also have the emboss clip if you drag it on it will actually you know create this great texture we have find edges which is going to obviously like kind of invert it but not really you know invert it completely we have glow darks which actually means that you can just have like these dark glows you know anywhere on the screen where you want and you can position them where you want we also have the leaf color which is obviously going to partly take out the color which is basically really cool so the car and everything is black and white but the house is obviously like still colored you can also just pick like certain colors which is really cool okay so i disabled all the other effects right now so as you can see this is what it looks like the car and everything is, is black and white and also this rim is colored and then the house and you know is also colored in the background so that's basically how amazing it is guys look how cool like you can just basically take out colors and obviously you can choose which one so let's just go ahead and for example pick the orange one you can mess with both markers and you can actually like bring them up bring them down and as you can see now this tree has also colors really really cool guys it's so there's so many things that you can do with vegas effects and obviously you also have video cleanup uh, we have temporal warp and presets now obviously guys there's way and way more to discover in vegas effects all right guys so right here i want to take a quick break to show you guys a really really cool website in order to get effects get assets if they're still missing in vegas effects so right now, I want to take a moment to introduce Production Crate to you guys. You guys have probably heard of them. They're a really, really cool website that they offer so many awesome sound effects, lower thirds, templates, animations, scripts, everything you can imagine is on that site completely for free. And if you see the potential and you want to just make a small donation of only $49 a year, you will get like access to the premium memberships. The link is in the description. Okay, so I'm going to leave Vegas effects right there. So if you guys want to pick that up and like only like apply like like the VFX onto your videos in Vegas FX. The link is in the description, obviously the very first one. So right now I'm gonna cut it right there and I'm gonna move on to Vegas image. So let's go ahead and click on there. Right here it says create pro level composites with unlimited layers and zero baked in changes. Vegas image keeps your image data raw and your layers self-contained. Every edit is live, every change is flexible. So right here we have Vegas image. It is a built-in tools like chroma key, professional compositing tools, easy 
color adjustment, dozens of powerful image filters and effects, lots of support, flexible layer access and adjustment. So let's boot up Vegas image, which you can also get in the description. Okay, so if you boot that up, we have a red kind of, you know, starting screen. So let's wait a couple seconds until it's booted up completely. Okay, so if you booted up Vegas image, this is what it looks like. You don't have any projects yet. Why not create something new? So we're just going to click on that and we're going to create our very first project. So as you can see, this is basically what it comes down to. This is especially just for images, not necessarily. Well, it's not really for video, actually. It's just for images, whether it's for Instagram pictures, YouTube thumbnails, anything you can imagine, you can just use Vegas image. Okay, so for an example, I just took a picture I uploaded to my Instagram today. So if you're still watching, shout out to you. Make sure to let me know under this image on my Instagram at Alex Halford. Right now, this is what we will see. So we have multiple layers on the on the very right hand side. Right here, we have the first icon, which says add image layer. So we can add in multiple images if we want to. We can also add in text if you want to, if you just want to type something in, for example, just Alex. Alfred, you can just also just resize it on screen live. It is really cool. Just make it a lot bigger, uh, highlight your text. And you can just right here, as you can see, we have the scale. You can also bring that up. You have the size right here. It says 32. We can also bring that to 112. We can position it anywhere on the screen. We can add in outlines. We can add in shadows, all of that. So we also have a third icon, which says add solid layer, which basically means like this is just a solid color, because let's say that you want to add, for example, like a nice color over your video, over your photo, what you can do is you can change the color from white to a different one, for example, red. What you can then do is you can just lower the opacity or the blending mode, for example, to lighten, and you can just add in all the kinds of, you know, filters onto your photos. It's really, really cool. You can have screen, uh, which makes it add like just, for example, like overlaid or like printed into your actual photo. Really, really cool. We also have an add an adjustment layer, and we also have just an add a group layer. So it's kind of like Photoshop shell but a lot easier you can just do a lot of things let's just delete the third layer okay so if you click on our photo it will actually be highlighted in this layer list then we have masks so we can just also for example apply a mask on it you can add in overlays uh, replace show disable all but right here it says effects now we can just apply like all multiple effects if we click on this on those three icons these three stripes you can just add in for example like a chroma stack like a cool film film grain pinhole sunset glow anything Thing. So let's just apply that. So this is what it looks like. You can also mess with these, you know, colors and you can also give them different twists and make it like, for example, blue, like a little bit colder, but you can also make it like a lot warmer with like red and orange and all that. So it's a really, really cool software guys in order to just adjust your photos, spice them up. So I want to thank guys for watching. That's going to be it. I just want to give you guys a quick introduction of what the program is and let you guys do the rest. I'm going to let you guys discover it. So if if you guys want to have tutorials in Vegas image and in Vegas effects, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. So now that we are in Vegas Pro 17, I just dragged in a clip of just some mountains off of video blocks. Actually, this is just going to be an example clip of what I'm going to show you guys. So the auto looks feature was already in Vegas Pro, I believe, but I think that just upgraded to next level in Vegas Pro 17. So, so what it actually means is that it's going to apply some color grading presets. Let's say that you don't have $900 just laying around somewhere to spend on really, really expensive uh, color correction presets. You can now just use this awesome uh, auto looks feature. Okay, so how you want to do that is you want to go to the video effects tab and you want to basically see the auto looks feature at the very top of the list because right here it's alphabetic. So as you can see, if you click on there, you have many different templates, way more than in Vegas Pro 16. So basically what this contains is just more and more color correction presets than we had before. So right now, if you drag on the default onto the clip, what you can do is basically choose from different templates, drag the default one onto it, and then you can just arrow down in this menu and then you can just like see which one fits best but what you can also do is you can just pick one because right here you also see previews of how that looks so i'm just going to pick the muffalo 33 let's drag it on there as you can see it drags on a little bit more of a like a yellow brown orange ish kind of effect but if you want to do a little bit more like dramatic and contrasty uh, what you can do is you can also add in the 90s music video one that's really gonna like they say just like the 90s music video effect but let's say they want to add in a really cinematic one uh which i believe this one the the 
uh, the nade gunner, which is really, really cool. It's basically that simple. It's not going to be a 10 minute video because these are just presets that are in Vegas Pro, that it came with Vegas Pro. I did not buy anything. I did not download anything like specifically for this. This is just in your Vegas Pro 17. So if you feel the need, like I just want to upgrade from version 16 to 17 or from Vegas 15 to 17, make sure to check out the link in the description right there. You can click on it and you can just directly upgrade to Vegas Pro 17. Countless people have been asking me about it. Alex, is it worth it? What is the difference between Vegas Pro 17? What is the difference between uh, Vegas Pro 15 and 17 and or 16 and 17? Guys, there are like 30 more new features. All features in Vegas Pro 16 have been upgraded, improved, everything like that. So if you want to pick it up, link is down below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. This is how to use it. You can just choose from many different templates. You want to drag it onto your video and you're good to go. It is really that simple. And that's how amazing uh, Vegas Pro 17 is. And they provide some awesome color grading presets for you. That's it, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And also, we're running currently a giveaway until September 14th uh, of Vegas Pro 17, a physical box copy. I'm going to give that away to one of you guys. So if you want to enter it, make sure to just watch the outro because then you'll be able to click through the video where you can enter the giveaways. So guys, that's it. A lot of talking. I'm just so excited. But that's basically what is all coming soon. So that's it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.